Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I sat down and filmed a sit down video and I was so excited to film this video because I haven't done one in so long so I was really eager to get it done. I feel like I haven't chatted to you in a while so I thought I would do a sit down video today. As many of you may know, my most viewed videos are actually to do with other YouTubers, in particular Saffron Barker. So for those who don't know, she is currently in Strictly Come Dancing. So I thought, what a fun idea would it be to react to her on Strictly? So I'm going to watch, I think we're up to week four or week five now. Um, so I'm going to watch all her performances from the beginning. As always, if you like this style of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's go on with the video. Oh god, I'm not even typing it in. If my laptop would work with me, that'd be fantastic. Saffron Barker Strictly. There we go. My laptop here. So let's sit and react to them. Okay, week one. As you guys know, I really like watching Saffron Barker. I think she is such a good YouTuber. Like, she is just smashing it through life at the moment. Um, but I am going to be brutally honest. I have been watching Strictly as well, actually. So I am going to be brutally honest. So this will be interesting. Okay, week one. Saffron Barker and AJ Tango to Lips Are Moving. I think that lip thing she's doing is a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. I think she looks really nervous as well, to be fair. Oh, I, I know she spoke about that piece of hair on her face as well afterwards, and that's the first thing I saw when I saw it. When I saw this in week one, I was thinking, oh, that piece of hair, like, I can imagine that would annoy her so much. That would annoy me definitely. But for week one, like, I think she's doing pretty good. Like, I mean, I'm not a ballroom dancer. I don't really know what's good and what's not. But I think she looks really good. Like, she looks, she looks like she, you know, she's, like, in the competition, like, seriously. AJ's such a good dancer as well. They work really well together, I think. What, what is one of the skin tango? So that's okay, that's what you look like when you tango then. I keep thinking her, like, she's got quite like a fake smile though. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but like, everyone else's smiles are like quite like natural and like, it come, it, they look like they're genuinely enjoying it. And I'm sure she is enjoying it, but I just think she looks like she is forcing the smile. She looks, she just looks so nervous, that's all I can say. Fabulous, week one done, and I don't know what points she got, but I think she got like sevens or something. That's not, that's good, that's not bad, that's not bad for week one. Okay, let's move on to week two. Right, Saffron and AJ, Cha Cha to One Touch by Jess Glynn. Let's go. So this is a Cha Cha, okay. Again, I, I really don't know what different, uh, what style of dances there are, so I'm learning as well. I can imagine that back bend is so, so painful. I mean, I had back problems, so I can imagine if I was doing that every day in rehearsals, that's gonna hurt. I think she did say her back is starting to hurt now recently as well. Again, don't you just think it's like a little bit of a fake smile? Like, you know when you do a dance show, like when you're a kid, and then you like you're on stage and you do this smile like constantly throughout because you're told to smile. That's how I that's how I imagine it. Like everyone else just looks so natural. And like AJ, I know AJ's a professional, but like his looks so natural, like and like I don't know, hers just looks more forced. Like I think when you watch her vlogs, she, her smile is a lot different on her vlogs, like because it's natural. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, she forgot a bit there as well. I, I instantly saw that as well. I should just be a judge, you know, because I, I noticed these things straight away. Like, they said, like, oh, you could barely notice it. I noticed it. She looks good, though. Like, she does. You can see, like, she is really trying. Oh, I love that kick, whatever the kick's called. And she did, I think the judges did say that she went too fast on some steps, but I can't work it out. Like, I can't work out which bit she went too fast on. I think it's this bit here, but I actually don't know. Mm, that kick was interesting. God, that was a finish, wasn't it? Okay, wonderful. I don't know what points she got in that one. Oh, she got a five. Oh, that's not good. She got fives and sixes and sevens. That's not the best. Okay, week three. Ah, oh, this is movie week. Okay. Saffron and AJ Paso to Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Paso, right, we're on the Paso. Okay. Yeah, get the Hunger Games. Cool. I love her hair in this one. She looks so small as well. I think she's barefoot. Oh, a little wobble there. I think she looks better when she's acting. Like, you know how I keep saying about her forced smile and stuff? Like, it looks fake to me, whereas this, like, looks good because she's, like, acting in it. You know what I mean? I think it looks better. Oh, they've got those kicks again. She looks good. This is a really good dance. Although, 
I don't know about you, I don't know if it's because it's movie week, but like, I don't really think they're dancing that much. Like, they're doing a lot of like, acty, acty, a actor y bits. Is that it? Oh, no, okay, there's more. Oh, they both look so small together. Okay, maybe there is more dancing than I remembered. I remember, I remember when I first watched it, I thought, there's not a lot of dancing going on. Okay, that was good. Not my favourite one, but it was good. What points do they get for that one? Oh, sevens, okay. Solid sevens, or? Yeah, all four sevens. Good, okay. Week four, let's go. Oh, God. This was the, this is, this is the, wow. This is the one I cried my eyes out to. So this is the contemporary, the couple's choice contemporary dance to Celine Dion. The VT, let's just watch the VT again, wow. Okay, the camera died, but we are back. Okay, resume. Oh, she looks so young. Oh, her nan is so cute. Ivy, I think her name is. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, this is so sad. I didn't expect to see her crying like in the VT when I first watched it. I did not expect it. So, it was so sad. Okay, let's fast forward to the dance. I love contemporary. Contemporary is my favourite style of dance, I think. See, the only problem I have with this is it's really nice and really pretty, but like, I agree with the judges how they said about how like, if you're going to put your hands over your eyes, you need to do it for a reason and like it did look really robotic it just looked like she was putting over her eyes just for the sake of it like she hyped this dance up and she did do it justice it was really really good but like not that i'm an amazing dancer but like i do agree with them if you're going to do something you need to do it for a reason especially in contemporary like contemporary is all about like telling a story and stuff so i do agree that like she needs to do something for a reason but it is really good, it's actually such a good dance. And I know AJ didn't choreograph this because he's not a contemporary dancer. Someone else choreographed it, which is fine. But like, it does look quite robotic, which is such a shame because it's such a nice dance. Seven, eight, that might be in her first eight, I think. Nine, ah, nice. Okay, cool, so that's her high score. Yeah, that's 33. Okay, and the final week, because that is what we're up to, we're up to week five. And this is Saffron and AJ Foxtrot 2 theme from New York, New York. They are so brave putting um, props in it, like the canes. I, th I think her personality comes across so much more in this dance. Like, that doesn't look like a fake smile to me. Like, I think if you were to watch her smile at like, the very first dance, you can see how, like, it, it was quite forced and quite staged. But now, she looks like she's really, like, settling into it and, like, she's, you know, like, relaxing and, like, she's really enjoying it now. Okay, so this is a foxtrot. It looks the same as the first dance. What was that? What do they do, the first dance? Paso? No. I love that dress too. That looks so nice. This is definitely the best dance yet. You can, like... I feel like she's taken on everything the judges have told her over the weeks. And it comes out in this dance. Like, all everything she's learned comes out in it. And she caught the cane! That's sick! I would not have been able to catch that cane. Oh, and the facial expressions! Like, this is... Yeah, this is... This definitely deserved the points that she got, to be fair. That was so good. Let's look at the points. I think I already know what she got, but... Nine. Ten! She got her first ten! And she was top of the leaderboard as well. Like, she beat, like, Kelvin. And Kelvin is a good dancer. And Karim, he's quite good. If you want me to do an in-depth um, review on Strictly Come Dancing, I definitely can do for you because I'm actually loving it this year. But, yeah, the leaderboard is changing weekly. When Dev and Diane went a couple of weeks ago, that just wasn't okay for me. Like, they were so good. They were, like, set to be in the final, like, 100%. So... I guess it is anyone's call, really. Okay, so that is me reacting to Saffron Barker on Strictly. Like I said, if you want me to react to anyone else on Strictly, then let me know down below, and I will definitely do that. Like I said, I was brutally honest, but that is, I feel like, what you want to see. You don't just want to see me sitting there going, Oh, Saffron Barker looks amazing! When everyone has their faults. No one's perfect. By the way, I didn't even mention, I have my fairy lights up. If you're an OG subscriber, you'll remember my fairy lights from my uni house. They have come back, finally, after like four months. I just couldn't be bothered to put them up. But hopefully they look nice, because it took me a while to get them up. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon for another video.